Have you ever wondered how crayons are made? Allow editor does everything to show you, to tell you how are crayons made. When crayon production started in America, that's where we live, back in the 1900s. It's diff lots of different companies competed in for the incredibly lucrative art supplies and school markets. However, one company emerged as the market leader in 1903. Almost 120 years later, they are still at the top of the orange tree. Aaron, who has ever used crayons, knows the crayon, and the name itself was coined by Mrs. Alice Benny, the wife of one of the the wife of one of the company's founders. According to a statistic, the Crayola company produces an average of 3 billion crayons per year. That's a million crayons per day. Just to give you an idea of how large that number is, if you are ever to lay these crayons side by side, it would be enough to go around the world. Six times crayon production has developed a lot of in the past 120 years in the 1900s. You can only get crayons in eight different colors. Fast forward today, to the today. And that number has gone from eight to 120 dazzling colors. But how are they made? Crayons are, are made from a material called paraffin, a waxy substance it's derived from wood full of or petroleum, and not only paraffin compa it compatible with a large number of pigments, but it's also not toxic and safe for use per. Is making it perfect to make crayons, which is also what is called an ice rub off, meaning that it leaves as no wax on the paper or paraffin and is delivered to the crayon factory. In liquid form, from delivery drugs. Let's maintain a warm enough temperature to keep the paraffin from hardening. Paraffin becomes a liquid at one about 159 degrees Fahrenheit, 50 degree, 57 degrees Celsius. The new, the next crucial material in crayon production is the pigments that gives the crayons their color. Because the paraffin will not mix with water and water or mixtures two of eggments are in a powdered form, although that they may have been made from a water mix, and then the dried eggments are made from suppliers. Follow formulas are dictated in the crayon manufacturer. Individual pay are made of chemicals mixed together in wooden tanks. And forced by through filters and move excessive water, leaving chunks of individual pigments. Pigments. The pigments are are then kept dry for several days. After drying, the chunks of pigment are not mixed or core are mixed. According to the formula for the desired color. Color. Over, over it into a powder, blended for consolidated consistency. The mixes are sent to the into the crayon. Over the past ten years, additional ingredients have been added. To the crayons, one of the most popular is glitter. 
small pieces of roof. You know, a uh, acve material that makes the crayon produced more shine as a as it catches and reflects. Random bees of light perfumes and other scents. Scents that can also be added to the mix and kick off production paraffin is a heater in large industrial boilers and around 80 degrees Celsius until it turns into a liquid. The temperature and heating time is precisely controlled to ensure the safety and quality of the process. The barren is then transferred into huge silos which hold up to 65,000 liters more than the maximum takeoff weight of the Sierski King Stallion, one of the biggest helicopters in the world. Well, if you think this is too huge, huge and, and around, remember that a typical a crayon factory uses this much in just a day because paraffin is a flammable material. A strict caution to exercise and ensure safe storage workers handling paraffin usually to do do so while wearing breathing masks to avoid inhalation and fine particles fair paraffin more removed from the storage towers and mixing kettles where it is mixed in mixed with clay not only does it give the crayons more strength but also acts as the filter boosting the number of crayons will they produce uh, making whole the whole process that much more cost effective after vi uh, the various synthetic chemicals that add it to the mix there is one to prevent the mixture from sticking to the mold. Additionally, steric acid in is also added to insert finally powdered pigments are added to the mixture and are these all are the highest quality to ensure privacy and consistency of colors. Keep in mind that all the ingredients that are added to the mixture so far are not toxic. The mixture inside the kettles is kept at a consistency temperature that ensures that mints are completely mixed with the paraffin. The mixture is also stirred to ensure and even and even distributed. You know? When the wax of pigment colors well blended, it is pumped into another device called a rotary machine to keep the paraffin from hardening. In the temperature and is control the device first injects X the wax into the mold these mold molds these molds can vary in size and shape depending on the uh, they are being produced the molds may be of material metal or silicone and our design to create the familiar signal shape of the crayon. Cool water envelops the molds from hardening the wax in inside the within 60 seconds. The cooling process is crucial 
for the plants to maintain their shape. And structural integrity. As the wax solidifies, it captures the color pigments, resulting in the final vibrant hue. Who's at the crayons? The wax at the top of the mold is scraped off with a specialized blade that can be recycled and used in the production to make of new crayons, reducing the waste. In the manufacturing process, one rotary machine produced 200,700 crayons of each in the cycles. Cycles in which several rotary machines working in unison in a, at a typical factory process is 30,000 crayons every hour. Every cool after cooling, the crayons automatically pushing out of the molds and expecting. Inspected inspectors examine each crayon for breaks and chips, as well as design signs that the bubbles in the cool crayon and mission that occurs of mixing. And that has not been in completely rejected crayons and are returned to the uh, for remelting and recasting. And in the early days of crayon manufacture, in the early days of crayon manufacture and an entire factory floor might be devoted to the production of a single crayon for a day or more. Or well, in the color show. The color molding machines would be cleaned and a new color would be made in the today's factory. The demand for crayons is so a huge number of of different crayons so great that more than one hundred that individual vats and molds are de decay de de decayed and it's only one in a world a few, a few colors. And the production lines run day and night after molding and expression. Shin. And transports the crowns into labeling machines one by one and they drop into the grooves. I'm a roll and draw at the bottom. The left glue the colored and surface between and the grooves. Just before the crayons go into the machine, then slap label onto each crayon. On, then the and presses the label against the adhesive. Then a small arm wraps around it. Crayon. This machine can label eight point five hundred crayons per hour to reach the daily production quota. For the several uh, control of these machines are of these machines are hmm? are these machines are used. Let's get draw. The quality control is a critical aspect of a crayon production. Therefore, a final check takes takes uh, place just before packaging. Random samples from each batch, batch are tested in for color. Are your harness hardy and other special savings? These inserts 
and sure, I mean, and sure is that the crayon me. The desired standards and any device are identified and addressed before packaging. Once the crayon passes quality control, yeah, they are ready for packaging. Crayons are typically packaged in cardboard boxes or plastic containers. Any packaging may include a dish and all for information such as color, names, uses and stretches, and say warnings. The packaging process is automated with canning and sorting crayons before placing them into in them. And, and final packaging Package crayons are then prepared for distribution. They are boxed and specialized for shipment for to retail schools and other distribution it points this stage. Vazla's this is art coordination. To ensure that the crayons reach their destinations in a timely and coolest issue, man. And, and well, I guess that marks the end of a journey of a crayon. Don't forget to subscribe to Andrew Does Everything.